At the beginning of the summer 2016, Crimson Startup Canvas, the team of Dr. Edward Sazanoff, Mohammed Farouk, and John Vincent came to the table with two things. First of all was the technology. Recently, researchers at the University of Alabama developed a novel method to determine the number of times an infant suckles during a feeding session at a level of accuracy currently unparalleled in the consumer market. Secondly, the team came into Crimson Startup knowing that new people become parents every single day. According to Ibis World, 4 million births occurred in the United States alone in 2016, with this number expected to be maintained through at least the year 2021. Armed with this knowledge and the desire to learn more, the team set out to identify the ideal business model and target market for this infant intake monitor. Over the course of the past six weeks, we have talked to consumers representing concerned parents, infant nutritionists, and lactation specialists to determine the pains and gains represented by each potential consumer group. It's definitely not an easy task, with infant nutritionists representing a select niche of doctors in the United States and concerned parents being a group typically too busy with raising their child to have the free time to be interviewed. However, the team still had a few key learnings. First of all, nearly all parents interviewed said that making sure their child had enough nourishment was one of their top three concerns when it came to raising their infant, especially when the mother was breastfeeding. It was also particularly encouraging to discover that most parents were interested in the product once it was explained to them, though many expressed skepticism in it actually working. This skepticism only emphasized the need to partner with health professionals in order to get our products into the hands of parents. Fortunately, from our interviews of infant nutritionists, we know that they too have an interest in our product as they often felt that having access to more accurate feeding data would make their jobs significantly easier. In conclusion, while the team is definitely not ready to commercialize the product, we lead Crimson Startup with the knowledge that an interested market exists, as well as know a potential partnership route to explore in the future. We look forward to continuing to refine our business model and determine the best entrepreneurial strategy to pursue into the future.